Now at six, it's been a long time coming, more than six years after terrorists beheaded Miami journalist Stephen Sadloff. Two men are in this country and accused in connection with his murder. Good evening, I'm Elliot Rodriguez. And I'm Lauren Pastrana. The Justice Department unsealed charges against them today. At a news conference in the nation's capital, officials spoke about getting justice for Sotloff and all those who were killed by the terrorists known as the ISIS Beatles. That's right, that was the name given to them by their captors because of their British accents. Justice Department officials on Wednesday announced a long list of terrorism charges against two Islamic State fighters. Former British citizens Alexander Kate and El Shafi Al Sheikh are accused of abducting and killing four Americans in Syria, including Miami native Stephen Sotloff, along with many other foreign citizens. Many around the world are familiar with the barbaric circumstances of their deaths. But we will not remember these Americans for the way they died. We will remember them for the way they lived. Cote and El Sheikh are part of a four-person group called the Beatles, a name given by their hostages because of their British accents. The third member, known as Jihadi John, was killed during an American airstrike in 2015, and a fourth unnamed member is in custody in Turkey. From August to October 2014, the Beatles released online videos depicting the beheadings of Americans James Foley, Sotloff, and Peter Kasich. They're also accused of killing American Kayla Mueller, but details of her death have not been released. The Justice Department had this message for the families. Although we cannot bring back your children, we will do all that we can, obtain justice for them, for you, and for all Americans. The two fighters were captured together in January of 2018 as they attempted to escape Syria via Turkey. Kote and El Sheikh are expected to make their first appearance in federal court in Alexandria, Virginia, where a federal grand jury issued an eight-count indictment.